The United States has been striking coins for over 230 years now, and the longest running denomination in the history of the United States is our one cent piece. Originally, these coins were released as massive copper pieces, almost the size of our modern day half dollar. We got our modern day small cent size for the first time in 1857, and while at a local coin show, we came across a small group of these first year of issue and second year of issue flying eagle cents. These coins only were struck for a short period from 1856 until 1858. However, the uncirculated coins were only struck for two years in 1857 and 1858. They are the first small cents in the history of the United States Mint. And while this group lasts, we are just $59.95 per coin. And at that price, we are at least $49 less than our nearest competition for these living, breathing pieces of U.S. Mint history. The, it's item number 905-4834. That's 905-4834. Now, most of you probably thought the first small cent was that Lincoln cent that was introduced in 1909, the Wee cent. But prior to that, the Flying Eagle cent came out for just a short amount of time. Now, you'll notice the card says 1856 through 1858. 1856, what they did was they struck a small amount of quote unquote test pieces, uh, kind of like those, uh, we consider them today fabled pieces like that proof Morgan or the proof Buffalo nickel. They only made about 1,000 or 1,500 of them to test out the market and the actual circulating pieces were made 1857 and 1858. Our collection includes the 57s and the 58s. They're $59.95 each, so if you purchase a quantity of one, you'll get either date 57 or that one there, 58. But tonight, if you buy two of this item, we'll guarantee you get one of each date in 1857 and 1858. And the reason why they transition to the small cent is at that time, 1857, the cost of copper rose. And Alex just referenced, our large cents was the size of a half dollar. So it was actually losing money to create those size denominations out of that copper. So they needed to transition to a small size denomination and that is where this all started in 1856 with that test piece and then we are in that new copper nickel cent for the 1857 and 58. That was the shortest lived series, two years only. And then it started with the Indian head cents. I apologize, earlier I said Lincoln, but then the Indian head cents started in 1859 and we still have that size for the cent today. And another reason why these coins were so important at the time wasn't just the actual cost of copper, it's that those large cents are not small. If you ever held one in your hand, they might be the size of our modern day half dollar, but they were a little bit heavier. And if you had to buy a couple dollars worth of goods, you had to lug around a bunch of those huge copper coins. It became such a nuisance for some shopkeepers that the U.S. Mint started creating two and three cent coins to help alleviate the stress on modern day consumers, modern day for then of course, who were so accustomed to those massive copper pieces that the flying eagle cent was just perfect. Because what usually would be, take up four or five large cents in your pocket could now be 20 to 25 flying eagle cents and they looked fantastic. It is one of my favorite coin designs because it's one of the last original U.S. Mint designs. They were very simple, but also incredibly intricate, and these coins have stood the test of time to still be in collector's quality circulated condition. That means each one of these coins was handpicked by one of us to meet our high eye appeal standards. Because there's nothing worse than getting a coin as iconic as these and not even being able to make out the word United States of America or the year of issue on the coin. Granted, that is a bit easier to figure out because there are only two numbers that it possibly could be. $59.95 each, folks. If you buy two, we'll guarantee you both circulating issue dates. It's 1857 and 58. Our competition has these coins for $109 each. $109 each, so you're almost getting two for one. Almost, almost. very close. But you're still saving $49 per coin uh, when you buy from us here at AVC. It is the, each one is presented in this beautiful, it's like a proof set lens, exactly the same as that proof set lens, the plastic lens, you have that beautiful velour insert card with the silver foil stamp, and it gives you the date of issue of the entire very short-lived program. Again, those 1856s, you're not gonna find them, they were very, very special, just kind of like a test piece. And 
then they brought out, they rolled out the program 57 and 58, and then that was it before the Indian head sent started. You can call in at 1-866-518-5933 or head to the website, abccoins.com. Head up to the search bar on the right-hand side of the page and put 905-4834. That's 905-4834. And if you buy two of these coins with us tonight, we'll guarantee you both an 1857 and the 1858. When it comes to collecting, first and last are always very, very important. And if you buy two of these coins with us tonight, we'll guarantee you that you get both. The first circulating flying eagle sense and the last. I'd like to say we get our hands on some 1856 test pieces, but let's be honest, if I can get one of those coins, that's going in my personal vault, because <laughs> those things are exceedingly rare. These are living, breathing pieces of U.S. Mint history, and these are coins you are never, ever going to find in your pocket change unless someone has made a massive, massive mistake. You heard Allison mention it. These coins cost almost $110 with our competition for just one coin, and they don't guarantee you either of the dates. So if you bought multiple with them, you might just get a bunch of 1858s. No first and last, just random date coins. We're almost $50 less per coin. So if you got two of these coins with us tonight, not only would we guarantee you the 1857 and the 1858, you're gonna save over $98 versus our nearest competition for these living, breathing pieces of U.S. Mint history. Give us a call, folks, 866-518-5933. Also visit us online, that's abccoins.com. Make sure you bookmark that site so you can join us when we are live on the show or anytime, 24 seven, day or night shop online things like this though uh, when they're so difficult to find especially in quantity these usually sell out pretty quick so while the show is live i highly recommend you take advantage of it right now uh, give us a call or jump online place that order again 59.95 per coin you'll get either date 57 or 58 if you buy two we're guaranteeing you both the 57 and the 58 so you purchase two you'll get both dates of issue uh, for the circulating pieces but the limit isn't too. I always like to say that. Don't worry about it, there is no limit. The one cent piece is the longest tenure denomination in the history of the United States, dating all the way back to when the Mint first opened its doors in 1787, when they would make 11,178 chain cents, as we called them, for circulation in the United States. This is the shortest lived design in the history of the one cent piece because the 2009 Lincolns were technically commemorative issues that year, making it not only a true rarity, but a living, breathing piece of U.S. Mint history that can be all yours tonight for almost $50 less per coin. With the phone line's getting backed up, though, it's time we do move on. Please grab these coins while you still can.